was 15, ever since then he's had the fight. This is the sixth. Just look at the calm action. Speed, precision. No wonder he's leading the championship. Just one point dropped in four races. And uh, if you look at the Red Bull Air Race magazine, it says on the cover, Paul Bonham is coming. Well, he's arrived. He's here in London. That was a low move through there, definitely. Yeah, well, it's... Uh, oh, there we go. A very uncharacteristic... <laughs> Calvin Schiffman turning between night and day for watching ball fight and then he bangs into that pile of day or something like that. But again, you can visibly see, I mean, obviously I've been following this show for a couple of years now doing work, so uh, my eyes probably a little bit more keyed in than most people, but this is, you compare that flight to say uh, Glendale or Sergei, you can see the guy is totally in control all the time. He's smooth, he, 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 it just seems like he's confident, he knows what he's doing and where he's going. The other thing is he's searching. He knows exactly what he's saying. He showed me some interesting footage the day before yesterday. In the first speed training, we had a lot of seat as you know, Joe. They were just... Uh, a bit of a handle. He actually collected about three of them, and at one point, his off-board camera showed him flying through a flock of seagulls, and uh, sustained damage to the to run this race is a testament to the regard in which the Red Bull Race World Series is held by the city of London. He's going for that. He's nursing a strained neck muscle in that semi-final runoff with Steve James in Rotterdam uh, at the last race. He seriously ripped his neck and he's been combating that all week. It's still stiff. He said his brain is simply not quick enough uh, to beat Bono. At least that's what he says. Uh, he's got a but it weighs 70 pounds more. So at this point now, when he's pulling that 10 G, he's added 700 pounds to the weight of the And he said, it's a up to pull through a pound show. But he's optimistic. We had a good run off with Steve Jones, lost out by three one hundredths of a second in Rotterdam. Yeah, he was unlucky. And actually, most importantly, it's the way his uh, season is coming along. Because if you look, in Detroit, he got a first place. Now, not so good in uh, Abu Dhabi, he's actually fourth. But, uh, sorry, fifth. Then he went, uh, he went to San Diego, he got a third place. He went to Detroit, he won the race. And as you said, he only just got out the podium. He got the
Oh, my God. 